What we're reporting in an article that's coming out in pediatrics is that girls are maturing at a younger age. Among the white participants, girls at age seven and girls at age eight uh, were roughly twice as likely to be in pubertal maturation as contrasted to a study that was reported uh, back in pediatrics in 1997 by Herman Giddens. Our study comes on the other side of the obesity epidemic that's occurred not only in this country, but other countries around the world. And we think that one of the more con important contributing factors is the higher body mass index in the girls uh, in the 21st century. This study has also begun looking at some of the potential endocrine disruptors, that is, chemicals that are used around the house, chemicals that uh, we might be using for personal care products. And we've only done a couple of very preliminary analyses. Uh, we hope in the next one to two years to have some more definitive information about the relationship between body mass index, these chemical exposures, and timing of pubertal maturation. As you know, girls mature before boys do. And so early maturing girls are maturing much earlier than any other age peer groups. And that means that when they're seen by parents or by their peers, that they're assumed to then be older and interact in a way that is more mature. But there's no relationship between timing of pubertal maturation and one's social aptitude or social ability to interact with others. And these girls are then exposed or pushed into engaging in behaviors that they may not be ready to engage in. Our study is not a study of breast cancer, but rather those factors which could lead to an earlier onset of pubertal maturation. Because there's been studies that have shown a relationship between earlier onset of first menstrual period or menarche with breast cancer. And those women with breast cancer often have an earlier age of menarche. So we know this association exists. The NIH took the, the support of the breast cancer advocates and then asked groups around the country to uh, design a project to help respond to this question. And so we're looking at those factors contributing to earlier on sort of pubertal maturation because there would be potentially a greater risk of breast cancer in life. It doesn't mean that they will develop breast cancer, but that those with an earlier maturation among girls are at a greater risk for breast cancer later in life. And again, I think living green is going to be an important thing. Doing things in moderation, I think, is an important thing. I think uh, making sure that you're not exposing your children to cosmetics or other personal care products that have these potential endocrine disruptors. I think these are the things that we can do as parents. Eating together as a family, a simple thing like that. Eating together as a family, I think, is one of those things that we can also do and then engaging in regular physical activity. Now, the important thing is we don't want to overstress this so that we develop a generation of people who have eating disorders, but rather things in moderation and engaging in healthy behaviors overall. Even the companies that produce cosmetics that have phthalates in them often have phthalate-free product lines. And I think that those are the types of products, especially for children, that you should be using. So looking and trying to find those phthalate-free products, especially for younger children, is what we should be doing.